Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this special bowl edition of the American Huddle. I'm Haley Outen alongside Andy Gresh. Today we bring you the preview of the AutoZone Liberty Bowl inside Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium featuring the Memphis Tigers and Iowa State. Andy, this should be a pretty good matchup, I would think, in Memphis, Tennessee, and the Tigers get to play in their home stadium. Pretty cool to play a game at home and to be able to reward the fans with the ability to see you to play a home game. But they're playing an upstart team out of the Big 12 in Iowa State who had some really big wins this year. Their head coach, Matt Campbell, a guy who was sought after during the silly season. So was Mike Norvell, by the way. And how about we start there, Haley, where Norvell signs a big contract extension to stay at Memphis, a real commitment to what's been built there. So two years under Justin Fuente went very well. Paxton Lynch goes on to the NFL. Mike Norvell comes in. Riley Ferguson may have a chance to play at the next level, but a real level of consistency from Memphis that's got to be real exciting to their fans considering their only two losses on the docket were to a team that's playing in the Peach Bowl coming up on New Year's Day. Well, Memphis fans very excited to keep Mike Norvell around, but a couple of guys they're going to be pretty sad to say goodbye to following this game is the top wide receiver quarterback duo in the country, and that is Riley Ferguson and Anthony Miller, two record holders. They have been so exciting to watch this year, and they're certainly going to be missed. After well, look, it's real simple. Turn them loose. Like, it's their final game. They're in the Liberty Bowl. Turn those guys loose. Throw it 60 times if you have to or you want to, and let those guys go put up all the numbers that they want. Anthony Miller is a guy who translates to the next level, Haley, in my opinion. He's a guy who definitely will get some looks. And now in the, in the day and age of college football where it's spread offenses, wide receivers have to read coverage like quarterbacks do. Guys are being trained to be able to jump in at the next level and have a chance to contribute right away. And look, in terms of Riley Ferguson, just keep doing what you're doing. There have been times where they've gone to UConn and needed to score 70 to be able to win or hung 70 because at the time it's a you know 30 to 30 type game. You got to find a way to score more points. And I think that's what Memphis is going to have to do in this one against Iowa State. Iowa State's a very underrated seven and six football team. They're going to give Memphis everything they can handle. But again, if Riley Ferguson cut down on the turnovers, throw four or five touchdown passes, Memphis should be okay. Well, Iowa State had two pretty big wins on their schedule this year in Oklahoma and TCU. So their offense obviously could hang in there with those big guys. What does the Memphis defense have to do to give their offense a chance to win them this game? They have got to disrupt the quarterback. It's that simple. They've got to get a big pass rush. They've got to be good on third down and getting pressure to be able to disrupt that offense. I mean, if you look at Campbell, he comes from the MAC. He was putting up points there, putting up points in the Big 12. They got to find a way to get the quarterback off the spot and move them around. And the other thing that Memphis has going for them too, Haley, that a lot of people aren't going to talk about is there's a commensurate level of experience with this group now. Whether it was Fuente or Norvell, you've got a whole class of guys who have been bowling, who know how to handle this spot. And for Iowa State, do they look around and say, oh, we're just part of the happy to be here club. We're in a bowl game. Whereas Memphis is looking at it and saying, nah, dog, we're at home. We're going to hang 50 on y'all. So. The mindset's got to be right going into the bowl game, and that's where Memphis has a big advantage. Well, do you think Tony Pollard, the special teams player of the year and All-American, is on the Iowa State scouting report yet? Haley, I'm not kicking it to him. I don't care. You know, I'd, I'd think about kicking it out of bounds or finding a way to squib it and let an up man, a fullback, or somebody end up handling the football. Why would I want to kick it to him? Look, at the, at the pro level, what we've seen are the smart coaches are trying to hem people in kick it to guys around the goal line, put it between the numbers and the sideline and let their coverage units go. You can't do that with Pollard. If you don't have somebody who can pound it out of the back in the end zone or get you a touchback, find different ways to not kick it to the guy. Because if he gets his hands on it in a big situation, you know he's gonna rip you for a big return if not take it to the house. Well, Tony Pollard, only a sophomore, so Memphis fans will get to see him for a couple more seasons. But the seniors on this team, they're coming off a loss to UCF double overtime in the conference championship. You mentioned it, two losses this year, both coming in Orlando to the Knights, but Memphis has played exceptionally well at home this season, the first time this program has ever gone undefeated in the Liberty Bowl. Pretty crazy to think about with all the history of Memphis football, it's the first time they've been able to run the table. And again, when you have a sustained run of success like Memphis has had, 
You get more and more people in the stands, there are more expectations, and it becomes a real home field advantage. Now, with a bowl game, it'll be a little different. I'm sure there'll be some Iowa State people who are like, hey, we don't have to corn it up today. We're gonna go watch them play in a bowl game, which they haven't done in forever. But when you win, you build the expectations from your home fan base, and I'm sure they're gonna turn out for the Liberty Bowl. Well, it should be a great game. 10-2 Memphis taking on 7-5 Iowa State, December 30th inside the Liberty Bowl at 12.30 p.m. Eastern kick on ABC.